back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. We have, if you're an OG, you will remember, I tried out this brand, I feel it was a couple of months ago now, Retro Stage Clothing. And if you remember them, it's very like 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, it's like past era styling, which I'm all here for. You know, I love the 50s and 60s and I just wish that I was born in that era. And the first video, it seemed to go down so blooming well. A lot of you was like, Shan, you could have actually been born a few, few decades before the 90s because I really enjoyed the style. So I was very, very happy when that PR team very kindly reached out and was like, would you like to do another collaboration? I was like, yes, I would love to see which new little bits and bobs you got on there. So I do have another five outfits i think they're all dresses that i went for and again different eras i will tell you the names of them the prices i won't because the prices can sometimes fluctuate but i will leave all the links down below for you my lovelies and yes i am very very excited for this so as i say these items were very kind of gifted but my opinions are still my own okay if i feel something's a little bit snug a little bit too big this is the thing that I tell you. And also, I've tried to correct the sizing because I, if you remember correctly last time, I got, what should I get? Larges because I based it off of the US and not the UK and half of them was miles too big. So if I remember correctly, I've got everything in a medium, but I will tell you as I go through. So shall we take a little step back in time and try on some different era dresses from Retro Stage Clothing? I think we should do. <laughs> and you're probably thinking, Shan, You've got no makeup on again. No, I haven't. I'm letting my skin breathe, but I have got my lashes on. I'm trying out these new ones because, as I say, if you know the situation, my eye little one thought is now discontinued. So I'm trying out new ones. So we have lashes at the moment, but we are au naturel. My skin, I'm wanting to let breathe before holiday because I don't want to be clogging it with stuff and problems. You know, no one needs problems. So what should we get in with first? Because I tell you what, I am mm, 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 right. You know when you have to like try and remember. So I am thinking this could be, yes, this is it. The 1960s off the shoulder velvet bodycon vintage dress. Now, I feel this could be the one that I picked up last time in the emerald green. But if you remember last time, I got the large. So I've gone, yes. So I picked this up in green last time guys and it was just a bit too baggy knowing my luck though this is going to be a little bit too thin the medium if i remember correctly is like an 8 to 10 and the larger is a 12 to 14 so i got everything in larges last time thinking yeah large i just saw 10 but that was a uk 10 didn't really look at the conversion so if you do um order off of there check the conversion from usa to uk sizing but I'm going to do a pig's ear holding it up. You will see more in the trunk clip. But I love this type of off the shoulder, just classy vibes. And I did feel really classy in the green one. And it comes down and it's quite long. Bearing in mind, I'm about 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, so where they say this is like a bodycon dress, this is almost like a full maxi dress on me. And this colour is giving me Christmas do vibes. I don't know about you guys, but this is like, yes. It does have a zip down the back. And now if I remember correctly, could I sort the zip out? Or I might have to wait for Mum G to get back. I'm going to do this haul like I've done the last one. Oh no, it goes down quite a bit. I might be able to cinch myself in. And the most important bit is the bits that hold the boobies have the silicone bits. If you remember from, say, like Gymshark hauls, it has that silicone there so that it's not, you're not always like trying to keep the girls in you know how i'm going to do this haul is how i normally do my ones with mama g so i'm going to show you all the dresses first and then we will do the try on clips after and i will tell you yay nay i don't just want it to be like a thumbs up thumbs down i think because this is a brand that you may not have heard of i actually want to like speak to you like i did in the first video see how it fits is it a little bit snug is it loose the comfort and also the quality because the quality is the most important bit now I'm looking at this and I've gone very, <laughs> I've got a mixture. So we have burgundy velvet there. And this next one is the, oh, 1930s. So we're going back a few decades. A green 1930s plaid turtleneck fishtail dress. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
I do love like tartan. If you know me, guys, in the winter, oh, this feels thick. And did I mention as well? They have given me a little code for you guys. If you use Shannon15, that'll get you 15% off on the site. I will leave that down below. But, oh, okay. <gasps> this is so soft. It's like a proper turtleneck. Oh, guys, why is this giving me like Christmas Day vibes? We all know I love a bit of green. Last year I dyed my hair green, but high turtleneck right this first of all is a gorgeous thick ribbed material and then it comes down and i'm going to do a pig's ear showing it to you you'll see more in the trunk clip but it comes down 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 and it's literally like a fluted fish towel that is almost going to be like a maxi dress on me because i'm that short if you was tall this would look lovely i mean i'm hoping it still looks lovely i might chuck a pair of boots or heels on with it and see how i go but overall this is so soft and i can actually do this because i don't have makeup on so <laughs> i can just rub my face and not worry about getting makeup on it but this is what i mean it's very classy i always feel like the older decades for that fashion was like classy elegant if anything was a little too short it was almost frowned upon i think i don't know whenever i see photos of like mum and nan and that they was never in anything like mini it always seemed to be midi or like if it was mini it was kind of more fitted and subtle i don't know as i say i'm not from those eras but that that is giving me like proper christmas day you know that when you have your christmas um family postcard i mean we're not posh enough to do that you know like what the kardashians do something like that like everyone matching yeah, definitely not posh for that. Definitely not posh for that. And then we go like complete 360. So this one, yes, is 1950s now. So we're back to the 1950s. And this is a pink V-neck wrap floral pencil dress. So as I say, I quite like pencil dresses because I feel like where I'm a little bit curvy, it accentuates it and it can be quite flattering. However, some materials are not flattering. And I need to see on this one because this feels like it could potentially not be flattering. This could be the one that fits on me. Oh my goodness, is that a medium? Okay. Right. First off, I feel this looks very big. I feel like my boobies are going to fall out of that. There's a zip down the side I've just noticed as well. Okay. And then it comes down. It is actually a really nice print. So is this floor, as I say, I just feel like this might be low on the girls. We'll have to have a look. But it's this kind of slinky, silky material. Kind of like a nightdress. But like a higher quality Victoria's Secret nightdress, you know. I just hope, it's not going to be see-through, but I hope it doesn't cling to the lumps and bumps. Is that a small? I thought I ordered it, not small, medium. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm sure I picked everything up in a medium. Yeah, I did. That just looks really big. It might be we'll try it on and it won't. But you know when you just like first instincts, I'm like, oh, okay. But I love all of their little um, tags as well. So you have like the vintage style dress. And then you have retro stage, a beauty that never fades. I love that and all of the dresses have that so as you can tell we've gone for like winter winter then we're bringing it into the summer but I feel like we've gone black black back to winter with this black piece now I don't know what one this is I have a feeling I feel this could be Cape. we've got two dresses oh right so that is that so this is the 1950s cape patchwork swing dress now the swing dress is the one that's like ooh, oh very different material hold on it's two pieces oh this is your cape oh, i thought it was attached to it 
Shut up, sweet goes. Oh, bougie. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. Right now, the material of this reminds me of school trousers, so I'm hoping it's going to be flattering. Let's have a look. Okay, it's body strapped. Right, definitely going to have to adjust the straps on this, guys. Okay, you see what I mean? It's that material, definitely got to be ironed. Definitely got to be ironed. I love the fact that the straps are adjustable because we all know I'm going to have to have that. So imagine that. So you can actually wear this dress on its own and then you decorate it with this. This I would put on some of my own tops. <gasps> oh my God, I feel like something from Harry Potter. You know when they do the Goblet of Fire? <gasps> okay, okay, I'm excited about this. I was thinking, what's this accessory? It's the cape. This, I think, could actually be a very flattering dress on its own. We will have a look. We will have a look. As you can tell, I'm, I've picked a good little variety. And then this one, so we're getting a lot of colours in here, guys. This is the Ivory 1960s Cap Sleeve Slim Pleated Dress. Pleated Dress. But yeah, let me know if there's like any particular era that you like because I just, I absolutely love it all. What is this? Oh, I've got it upside down, I think. Yes, I have got it. No? Hold on a minute. Well, where is this supposed to go? Oh, hang on. Is this an arm? Oh, right. Okay. Right. Very, very rouge. And the camera's probably going to go a bit piddly now because of the colour you'll see more in the try clip but so it is oh I feel like it's an off the shoulder and when they say it goes down like down 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 right this could be see-through we're gonna have to try this we're gonna have to change the undies to try this on why do I feel like this is a cow neck not a cow neck, like an off the shoulder. We'll see when we try it on. So we've got everything, guys, ranging from 1930s to 1960s. Let me know now, before I've tried them on, what do you think is your favourite just now by seeing them? And then what we'll do after I've tried them all on at the end, edit your comment and let me know actually what you thought looked best on. So... Let's not dilly-dally. Shansh, we, we're going to go back. We're going to step back in time, guys. Look at the do that. Step back in time. And try these uh, new little beauties on, which I am very, very excited for, let me tell you. I love this. I'm thinking I could even have gone down to a small because I feel it's still, like, a little bit gathered at the back. Nothing like it was before. But, guys... I feel so sophisticated in this. So you can have it up, but I quite like the Bardot look. It does have the zip on the back, and I say this is where I feel like there's a bit extra material. But all in all, this is like Christmas party vibes, ain't it? This would look gorgeous, I think, for a Christmas party. I think it's very, very classy. It's like a little bit of decolletage, a little bit of the girls, a little bit of the leg, but very, very sophisticated. Do I prefer this or the green? Oh, that's hard. Red and green, they're both festive colours, so I don't know, but I do, do I think I could have potentially got away with a small, because I do feel there's a lot of room, but then that's good, because if you're having a Christmas party and you're having a bit of food and drinks, well, I have more drinks than food at a Christmas party. This, guys, I actually really like this. I'd give this like a solid nine and a half out of 10. I think, yeah, the way that, cause I don't really like my shoulders cause the shoulders and my tops and my arms are like, I think quite chubby on me. So this like little styling where it like cuts it off, I think is so, so flattering. Yes, nine and a half out of ten. We are kicking it off to a good one. <laughs> I'm just going to cover my girls because I don't have a bra on with this because I couldn't find me quite strapless. But it's not as see-through as I thought. If you have clear underwear, 
well, nudie underwear, you will be more than enough. I love this. I think if I had my white strapless bra on with a tan, guys, can you imagine this on holiday with a tan? Because when it comes down, you see all this ruching? It's so flattering. And then you've got your back. So, so flattering. As I say, I'm just hiding this for my modesty. But overall, I love the length of it. I think this is the perfect dress that you could just chuck on on holiday you know if you're like a little bit sunburnt and you don't want nothing too clingy or too grippy you just literally want to chuck something on and be down to dinner like this you could so dress down with um flip flops as well you don't have to have heels with it but i love this for a thin material i was a little bit worried i'm not gonna lie but i've got like i think i've got lilac underwear on and you still can't see it so i do think if you had white you'd be absolutely fine and I just love the way on the sides, the ruching, you see that? It just really does accentuate and make everything look a little bit nicer. But yes, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. I say I need to find my white strapless bra, but this with white heels on holiday with a tan. Yes, please get me to Jamaica. <laughs> Guys, I feel like I should be at a private school or something. I love this freaking cape style. Let me tell you, I am just obsessed. Look at how cute this is. The dress itself, please ignore, I couldn't get it fully done up with the weight at the back. There is plenty of room, but I can't get my hand high enough. And Mummy G is not in the building to help me. But the dress itself, so the dress I probably could have sized down on because it's still quite big, but the fit of it as i say it does remind me of like school trouser material but you know what this cape guys i feel like i might have to keep because i feel like i could put it on so many other style dresses and just turn a normal dress into something a little bit extraordinary i for one am absolutely i love this as i say apologies the back i couldn't do up but it sounds morbid this for me is a very classy funeral dress very morbid i know but you know what i mean it's giving me those type of vibes like with the material obviously you need to give it a good iron and potentially i could have sized down again in it maybe you could put a black belt on around it but oh guys i've got to give this i'm gonna say an 8.5 as well i love this this cape is just oh the cape is everything in my life <laughs> not really a fan of this one guys the zip i can't do up on my own mama g's not here and it's very awkward but for me the bottom bit the seaming doesn't feel right i don't know if it's the way of the scrunch of the material but i mean it's actually not too big that was my concern that it was going to be too big on the girls i don't think it is at all however i just feel here it doesn't like, I feel like I go one way and the material goes the other. I always say, like, this is the type of slinky material that it can either go fab or go drab. But the style of the dress is actually very, very nice. I can see how this would be a classy pencil dress. But I just feel like as I'm pulling there, this bit doesn't feel like it matches with this bit. So it's a little bit disjointed. I mean, I'm still going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 7 because I do actually really like the colour of the dress and I like the style and I see where they was going. But for some reason, it's where it cinches in here, I feel that the material's maybe a bit school with. Or it might just be my body type, probably more than likely my body type. But yeah, I do like the print. I do like the pattern. And as I say, I thought it would be too big on the girls. It's not. The back's really nice. The back's like a little v-neck at the top so as i say can always see the tattoo but yeah just doesn't feel right this material slinky material never feels right on my body i don't know what it is maybe my body's just not cut out for slinky material eh? right my lovelies you're probably thinking shan there was only four try on clips i couldn't get the green plaid one it was the bottom fishtail but it had a zip at the side and then when it went into the jumper there just wasn't enough 
room or movement for my head to go through that amount of material so i think definitely on that one i would say upsize because the material of the fishtail is actually very fitted and very tight as it should be it's like a sculpted fishtail dress but yeah that was the only one that i couldn't actually get on my little head well must be my big head my big head could not go through the little hole so Guys, I don't think that was a bad one. We have tried varieties from 1930s to 1960s. And as I say, thank you very much to Retro Stage for very kindly gifting me those items. And also with you guys, if you do want to have a little look, maybe if you have fancy dress coming up, they do some gorgeous sequin tassel style flapper dresses. Fabulous. If I'm thinking, is it the 20s, like Gatsby era? You could get the long fake cigarette, your little hat. Mm -mm. Shannon 15 will get you 15% off on the website okay guys but I don't want to dilly dally and take up any more of your time if you did enjoy the video you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave me a comment now what one do you think looked best on if you commented before which one like I held up and you thought was the best what one do you think actually looked better on but take care stay safe as always and I shall see you very soon for a brand new video Whatever that may be, because I haven't actually got a flipping clue. No, we're just winging it at the minute. Bye, guys.